Right, g'day guys. So a lot of guys I'm seeing, especially on the 430 pages, are finding that their connectors are broken. So this is the VVTi connector right here. And what happens is, VV, oh, this is the VVTi solenoid connector. And you can see there, um, this breaks off. So there is a really easy way to fix it, is to just replace the connector body. Now, a few little tricks. See here, I've got a connector body. The R part numbers on these bodies. This one's actually hidden down in here. And what we do, I'm going to try and show you. We're going to take this piece out here. I'm using this TE tool. But if you get a very small screwdriver, you can do very something very similar. Okay, and I'm taking that out there like this. So if you do your cam belt, you'll find that things will break. If you're doing tablet cover gaskets or taking the intake off, injector, see, injector plugs will break. Now we're just going to look very carefully and we're going to remember what coloured wires go where. These are quite faded. No, we'll get it good. I'm just going to do one at a time. It'll solve the problem. So in here... There is a little lock tab. Let's see if I can get in closer, eh? It's really hard to get it nice and getting it focused here. There's a little tab. Right there. And these are quite brittle and yucky. And so that is making it harder for me. And it is just all falling apart in there. I can feel it crunching and breaking. So I'm going to do a little bit of destructive removal. It's rare. Again, it's hard to do. I'm just going to go like this. Take the side out of it. Just there. And out it will come. Let's get it again. Move this around a little bit, shall we? There we go. And out it comes. And I pop that into the new connector. Yep, that's done. And then out come this other one. Again, I'm going in here. And you can see this is connector is just completely falling apart and into pin two of this one now i actually have done videos on refabs on a lot of looms and i've just recently filmed one on a 3uz loom which i'll be editing so if there's a card up above you then that video is done now push the lock tab back in and then it goes okay about three minutes three and a half minutes change that connector I'm gonna do the airflow meter one oh, let's have a let's get it back a bit eh, shall we let's do this airflow meter one how are we looking there yeah we're pretty good there so again This one's actually in unreasonable order. So again, that big lock comes out and there's a whole lot of pieces in here.
Now, to make it easy, you can cut this back a little bit. And as you can see, this is way faster than trying to splice in a pigtail. Go get it all the way in. Done, and it's in the right order. You guys, they're all going to break. Okay, it's normal. I do full ref loom refabs as well. Let's go look at my connectors, eh? So this is how I buy my connectors. These are not China, okay? Avoid China. They are purchased. There is the official part number. Look at that. There is the part number for them. That is not China, that is genuine Toyota. Right, I totally avoid China connectors uh, if I can. Now, so in the 3Z looms, there is one connector that I can't get genuine, and I have to resort to China for that one, but every other, every other connector in that loom is genuine. I also do terminals, and I also do the seals. So if I, one, I rip one off, I can just crimp another one on. And it's a far better repair than buying a crappy Chinese pigtail, which a lot of the suppliers have, and they do not last. The ones on that car, that's a 2005, so they're 18, yeah, 18 years old, so it's time for a new set. To be really helpful, I will even uh, put a link to my Google Drive in the description with every LS 430 connector part number for you. Oh, you might not have the throttle body one because it'll either be a five speed or a six uh, five speed or a six speed setup. Okay, so check out the video on this one once it's done. I've got a video on a full refab of every connector on the loom. And I'll also do another one where I'm changing the connectors on my own. So I hope that's been helpful. We'll do it again soon. Catch you later.